Okay, this is for you, uh, Eckert. Um, well, I thought I'd show you a little video here. It's just to give you an idea of the basic mechanism here. And you can see how there's a weight, and this weight's actually uh, the counterbalance. So when it moves up, it creates the inertial function, bringing the bringing the lever up. Of course, when it comes down, it does the same. Now, this is a seized bearing. This is all garbage. Nothing here was uh, bought for any purpose. This was all just solid junk. So. There's a lot of resistance in the bearing here. It was actually seized and we had to spray WD-40 on it to actually get it even moving. So a better bearing in here, this would actually have a lot more function. But the interesting part is that on the front here, I just put some magnets up here and some magnets here to give it some resistance here, some magnetic resistance rather than put a spring in. A big weight here would have done the same job or a big spring mounted in here pushing against that, it would tighten this whole mechanism up. Actually, that'd be a better way to go. A big heavy duty spring here, uh, uh, welded right to the, the post, that would create tension here, and it would control the movement. It would allow it, it would, it would hold it in a very, very, very tight uh, um, uh, movement, uh, where then you could hook a crank shaft off. This was actually bucked off. There was another piece there we're gonna mess around. This is, it turned in from a, uh, a small little demo into uh, into something else uh, very very quickly when it started to break because the, the amount of force started to tear the whole wooden frame apart. Like it was was not prepared for the increase in force. So here's to show you the actual drive function. This is very important here. What I'm showing up. This is a one tenth of an amp 12 volt motor. This battery it's never been charged up. We've been using it for months and months and months. So it is extremely drained. I'll just take this bolt up. Uh, so the battery is probably, I'd say under 11 volts right now. I've got a voltmeter somewhere and I'll test it, but um, I'm not going to do that right now. So this motor here is one-tenth of an amp, uh, 12 volt DC current, and the drive function of this wheel, it can be stopped with a finger, as you can see. Oops. And this is why um, I haven't been using this at demo or making videos, is because None of this was set up for any long term. It was just built to test a very minor function. So it is what it is, as I said. It is what it is. So there you can see the wheel, the function of the wheel. That's the drive function, one tenth of an amp. There's not enough power even to hurt my thumb, finger here. I can stop the entire drive function with one finger. Here's the important part. As I put this here and get it going, stop this end of it. This end here is, has so much power when I do that that and the faster it goes, of course, the easier it is to run. The less power it goes. So this little unit needs to be bolted down. It's just a little portable piece of junk. Uh, but the increase in force here is massive. In fact, it's so strong that if I had another hand, I could do a better job. I'll try to get a little, a little crafty here. I'm going to kill that gate. Cancel.